Now let's consider the following definition. Um, given a group G, and we have a subset U uh, in G, we want to find the smallest subgroup of G which has, which contains the subset U. Um, so this is called the subset, uh, the, the group, let's see, the subgroup generated by U is uh, uh, is the group, and it'll be the set of all possible strings of uh, you know products of things in U. Meaning, it'll be uh, U one uh, to the K one u2 to the k2, u3 to the k3, um, dot dot dot, um, un, kn, uh, where n is some integer, kn are also uh, integers, nat natural, well, yeah, kn can be integers so and what we interpret is like you know when we have something like u1 to the minus 3 that's u1 uh, inverse cubed um, so there's nothing there's no problem there and then um, all of the ui are in u let's run out of room let me make a little bit of space But what what will what we have here is these are you know the prot and the product can be as long as you want. It's just got to have things coming from uh, you. So let's do a few examples. So the subgroup um, the subgroup of so let's let's take an example that'll be subgroup of uh, GL2R, say. GL2R, um, which is 2 by 2 matrices. Um, this will be, you know, so yeah, it's the, this is a set of 2 by 2 matrices uh, such that AD minus BC does not equal 0. Um, and that way, uh, this matrix will be invertible. Okay, so that's GLNR. Let's talk about the sub the subgroup. So let's make U be the set. Um, so first of all, let's make U be the set. Um, just one element, and it'll be the set minus one, minus one, um, and what will that generate? Well, this is a diagonal matrix, and um, when you multiply it, so so, of course, if you this multiplying this by itself will will commute with itself, um, and so really this this set is the set. So so the group is. Um, subgroup generated by u is, well, it's going to be the set of all the possible powers, uh, the n, or n in n, um, because there's just one element here. Um, there's no need to worry about, you know, which order we're multiplying in. But you notice if this thing squared is just one, so it's just meaning the identity matrix. By one, I mean the identity matrix. And so it's just the identity matrix and this matrix. So it's like this is a, you know, um, 
group with it's a group with two elements. Um, so how about how about a, another set? Okay. So let's take um, the subgroup generated by um, let's make u be subgroup generated by matrices 1 a 1 um, for any a and r now if you multiply two of these matrices together, right? You multiply one A one and let's pick another one, one B one, you multiply it together, what you'll get is you'll get one, and this will turn into A plus B, and this will be one. Um, so really what you've got here is you know this subset, you know, you could put A plus B in here. This subset is already a subgroup. And because it's already a subgroup, um, you, you can say it's just the same thing as the subgroup um, generated by uh, you. And maybe one last example. Um, I can take um, this set. This, the the single set, which is the matrix uh, one 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 here, now by this you know this same computation, um, you know, I can get um, I I can of course take the inverse and I'll get you know um, one minus one one right that'll be the inverse one one inverse. Um, and so what I'll get is I'll be able to the the subgroup um, will be uh, one and then I'll have n and then one for any n in uh, z, the integers. And that's what I'll get. 